PewDiePie is one of the most popular YouTubers on the platform and a veteran. He started his channel back in 2010 and has taken up the throne on the site. With over 111 million subscribers, he's the most subscribed single user channel, at least until Mr. Beast takes over. In his recent video, he discussed why he hasn't quit uploading videos despite having retired two years ago. Let's dive into it. First up, PewDiePie doesn't want to quit uploading videos. The King uploaded a video revealing all of his personal thoughts about how he's kept at the videos despite retiring as a YouTuber and about being a YouTuber for as long as he has been. He was confused as to what he wanted two years ago and how to go about it, but Pewds wanted to retire from it anyways. Now he understands that he wants to do YouTube the way he did in the beginning, and frankly, he's one of the very few who can revert to their old styles. He has dedicated fans and millions awaiting his every move. He has the followers to back up any decision he makes. He has a wonderful support support system with his wife Marzia and the entirety of YouTube creators that adore him wholeheartedly. So while Pewds didn't start this channel to become this big of a creator, it's finally helping him. With that said, he now wants to focus on what's fun about YouTube. More explicitly, he wants to avoid all the bull SHIT that's on the platform and would rather enjoy sharing stuff with his fans. According to him, ever since he retired, YouTube has become fun for him again over the last two years, so he has no reason to quit. He's still following his dream of doing YouTube after all. Basically, he retired from the duties that creators force on themselves on YouTube. He's chased all the clout he could and is literally on the top. What else could he work for besides his dream? Up next, PewDiePie reminisced about his past. He started the video with the opening statement that he was set on his decision to retire two years ago. He even uploaded a video marking his end. But a quick scroll through his channel will tell you that he hasn't quite left yet. After that, he quickly reflected on how he'd started his channel. He was a young kid in Sweden living all alone. He was enrolled in a university and had his entire career sitting in front of him mapped out. Even though it sounds like a dream of having your life sort of figured out, he reminisced that he felt stuck and dreaded his future. So to combat that, he'd post videos and hope that it works out. Bear in mind that at the time, gaming channels didn't earn much. In fact, very few people earned enough to make it a full-time job, but it wasn't far from being a possibility either. So manifesting it seems like your typical foolish prayers you don't think will come true. Compared to that time, he's free in his choices. He has a career that he loves and he's at the top and has been for years. In the end, he owed it to his fans for the big change in his life. He spoke about quitting YouTube and what that decision was to explain where his channel is headed now. Following that, PewDiePie thinks that this would be a good place to end. Hold your horses and listen before you freak out. In May of 2022, PewDiePie moved to Japan with his longtime girlfriend and now wife, Marzia. With that, he shared that in a way it kind of sounds like the perfect happy ending. This big YouTuber left the channel, which is at its peak, moved to Japan, and boom, happy ending. At this point, because of his statement to quit before, fans often inquire about him quitting, but he never laughed. This part of his career is more like the post credits after a film. His thought about leaving because at the time he was being canceled over and over again and was facing extreme scrutiny and criticism. We'll get into that in a bit. But when thinking of all the millions of people who still love him, he got out of it. PewDiePie would do it all over again if he could have had such a brilliant experience on the platform. But here's the catch. He doesn't want to do it again. Again, let us explain. Felix was cracking a jump. So chill. He explained that he's extremely proud of every single one of his videos and is grateful for it all. But he isn't the same person anymore and wants to look ahead. With his move, he's opened up a lot about his life. Over the years, we saw him in band with the Paul Brothers, T-Series, and multiple collaborations with other up-and-coming YouTubers like Mr. Beast. This kept his views constant and perspective fresh, but it doesn't benefit him anymore and never really has. He did it because it was expected of him. Moving on, who's going to take his place? Sounds a bit morbid to immediately dive into this, but hey, we all know that it's an ever-growing internet world and eventually someone will rise above the ranks. With Pewds no longer fishing for clout and enjoying his life, his channel won't die but will remain constant. Felix talked about his obsession with YouTube, views, uploads, content, and just growing in general. It took up his entire life and made him take on bad habits that took a while to shake off. But we know one person who's just like that, Mr. Beast. Jimmy has expressed his innate desire to make the biggest videos possible. In doing so, he invests millions that he earns right back into the channel and has over 20 channels, all
all of them are hitting milestones after milestones. He's at 105 million and growing fast. Let's see what he does when he gets to the top. Now, moving on to other related news that might interest you. First up, the Japanese government want to use Pewd's dogs to promote tourism. It's no secret that Felix moved to Japan with his wife, but no one saw this coming, now did they? The popular gaming creator shared the news with his fans that his dogs and family were invited by the governor of Gunma Prefecture in Japan to basically help promote tourism. Even his dogs are famous. He's expressed his love for the country for a long time now, and all the veteran fans know it. In addition to that, he's eager to now live his life as a family man, more than a YouTuber, and explore his new home. Pewds is originally from Sweden, but purchased a home in Japan in 2019, intending to move there. But his move was put on hold with the global pandemic and a load of paperwork that would finalize the move. In the video, he reads a letter sent to his dogs by the governor. He then took a trip to central Japan in a sponsored video. Imagine being sponsored by a governor. Pretty cool. Next up, why did he want to quit YouTube? Now here's the thing with the internet. People love creators without any boundaries. They overlook all their red flags and instead encourage their behavior with views, clicks, and likes. But as soon as they slip once in the public's eye and something goes wrong, all those flaws come out and the creator goes from being loved to hated. There are worse reasons that happen, but this is what Pewds went through. In the recent video of his that we spoke about, he referenced an old upload from 2020 titled, I Got Cancelled Again. But the title was more of a clickbait. While he did face more serious scrutiny, this one was just when users found Pewds Spotify information and then mocked or appreciated his taste. Some artists in the playlist even told him to stop listening to their music, which is kind of weird because it's for the general public, good or bad. He's been the center of controversy like many creators, but his music being an issue was just very random and out of the blue. It'd be tough to be on a platform where even your music choice becomes problematic, so we understand why he stepped back a bit. Finally, what do creators think about Beast overtaking Felix? Mr. Beast appeared on a podcast with KSI and the Sidemen where they asked him about how he feels being close to taking over Pewds. He responded that Felix doesn't post much and sort of did retire from being the frontman of YouTube. According to Mr. Beast, Pewds doesn't care for it. Laserbeam compared both of them saying that Jimmy is the Elon Musk of YouTube while Pewds is like Kanye West. It sort of doesn't make sense, but to some, it might. Felix is a one-man army throughout his career, which makes him a veteran. T-Series did surpass him, but only because it was an entire institution. With Beast, while he's the face of the channel, there's a lot of production and the work of many people that goes into it. It's an interesting comparison nonetheless. That's a wrap for this video. What did you think about PewDiePie's new routine on his channel? Do you think his content will be better if relaxed? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.